hundred percent agree with Trump, and he have to be taking some more step for them. And w one more thing, I'm telling you for that one, who is an army general, and after their retirement, they come to America. They stop them visa for those people for coming here, and they're living legend life. They buy property. They're doing a lot of stuff is here, and here for some people have a U.S. citizen. They're going to be uh, uh, media. And those spoke against of America, against of India, against of all the world. And I can give you name, I can give you passport number, I can give all the kind of information. They are duplic you know, double policy. They coming here to they talk about oh America is very good, and when they go in Pakistan, they talk about against of America, and that's have to be stopped that kind. Of. We've been saying for a long time now that the Pakistani establishment needs to stop playing a double role. Um, while they're accepting aid from the United States. <laughs> they're only going after terrorist organizations that can bring harm to only the military establishment, not <laughs> the rest of the people. So they need to start targeting all terrorist organizations, not the ones that are their B team, or not the ones that <laughs> can only you know, hurt the Pakistani military establishment. They need to go after everyone. Um, nobody wants war, nobody wants confrontation. I think the demand the Trump administration is making, it's, it's a just demand. Of course, as an American, Pakistani, I support fully, I mean, uh, Trump uh, policy. I might have a different view on his different, I mean, point of view, but on this issue, I fully support that the terrorism around the world need to stop because we are living in a modern century and we have to respect the rights of every <clears throat> innocent person. So that's what my take on it. I fully endorse and support it.